Clap your hand and lift them up. Come on. It's just the thing which the Lord has been. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. It's another day that the Lord has blessed us. Another day the Lord has kept us. And oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful work to the children of men. Be thankful today as we come again to glorify the name of the Lord. Don't know how you feel about here in the sanctuary on the virgin, but I'm just so glad to see another day. I said, I'm so glad to see another day. Amen. I'm going to ask the singers to help me sing. Thank you, Lord. Can you help me? Oh.
Come on, clap your hands and bless him. Come on, clap your hands and bless him. Come on, clap your hands and bless him. Oh, let's praise him, let's praise him, let's praise him. Come on, let's praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Oh, let's praise him like he's worthy. Could be because we are, because we know he's worthy. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all give me one of those praise and worship sound as well as the wise come at this time. Come on, give me one, y'all. Give me one of them. Give me one of them. Come on, give me one of them. Give me one of them. Come on. Amen. Come on. Don't make me stop. Put my hands and toes to life. You must be reading gracious enough yeah. to you. Say, come on now. You reign. Father God, because you're acquainted with each 
each and every one of our ways. You've promised us, Lord God, that you'll be with us always to the ends of the earth. So we come now, Lord God, with great expectation, Father God, looking unto you, Lord God, to ask that you have your way, that you pour out the oil of your anointing and let your glory be fulfilled in this household of faith on today, Lord God. For we in a place, Lord God, where hearts can get mended and minds can change, Lord God, and situations can get changed around. And we thank you for it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch each and every soul that is biding in this place. Touch each and every soul that is watching on a virtual, Father God, for you can meet them at the point of their need. You told us in your word that you know what we have need of before we ask. So, Father God, we ask that you supply their need, that you give them a cup that overflows, not just in their life, but to everyone that's attached to them. Remember the angel of this household and the messenger on this morning, but anoint her from the top of her head to the soles of your feet, Lord, her feet, Lord God. Allow a word to come forward in her belly, Lord God. You know what we stand in the need of, that it speaks to every heart, every situation, and every condition. Continue to look down upon the word and have mercy. Be with those that are mourning in the bereavement right now, but lift up every heavy heart and remove every burden. We thank you because this is Advent season, and Lord God, we wait and we watch with great expectation, knowing that you're going to do exactly what you said, that you are a fulfiller of your word. So we thank you in advance for the mighty things that you're going to do. We thank you, Lord God, for the mercy that you're giving us right now. We thank you for the joy that's on its way. We thank you for the help that's on its way. We thank you for the peace that's on its way. We thank you for the blessing that's on its way. We thank you for the breakthrough that's on its way. We thank you for the healing that's on its way. We thank you for the overflow that's on its way. We thank you for the victory that's on its way. We thank you for the deliverance that's on its way. We thank you for the power that's on its way. We thank you for the provision that's on its way. We thank you for the salvation that's on its way. God, we believe it that it's done. We believe it that it's here. We believe it that it's already all right. So we're praising not because you've forgotten, but we're praising because you've already done it. Continue to have mercy upon us. Bless us right now in the name of Jesus. Forgive us of the sins that we commit and continue to work on our soul salvation as we give you glory because you're God and you're still good. You're still reigning. You're still in control. It doesn't matter what man says, but we believe the report of the Lord, and you are God, and you are God alone. Have mercy on the world as we give you the glory, as we give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, help me. Come to the praise of the Lord. My, 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 my. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, come on, come on. Well, hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. Praise is what we do. I said, praise is what we do. Come on, let's praise him, let's praise him, let's praise him. Oh, my, 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 my. Ah, 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 yeah. Well, hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. If you need relief, if you need relief, praise is the way to do it. If you need deliverance, praise is the way to do it. If you need joy, praise is the way to do it. If you need healing, praise is the way to do it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I don't know about you, but I'm gonna praise it. Yeah, I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come on, let's praise it. Hallelujah. Cast your candles. Don't be scared for you. Oh. Amen. 
But he's a God that can change everything. Oh, come on. He's a turnaround God. I said, he's a turnaround God. He's a turnaround God. Let's the burden of the heart. Turn up on morning into days. Yes. I just believe him. I just believe him. I tried him again and again and again. He never changes, amen. amen. He's blessing us over and over and over and over again. May the Lord God bless you, dear. Good, be happy for the preacher of the morning, amen. The Lord has been blessing us, and the Lord is blessing us right now, amen. I said the Lord has been blessing us, and the Lord is blessing us right now, amen. Enjoy, enjoy the freedom of retirement. That's a good place to be. Enjoy the freedom of retirement. That's a, Ask me how I know. Amen. Because I'm in the same place too. Amen. God bless you. And we're thankful to God for her. The Lord's blessing her. Amen. And what I love about her. Amen. Every time she goes, she do something. She's so generous. Thank you, Lord. I said she's so generous. Blessing the Lord. How the Lord blessing her. Blessing that church. Amen. Blessing that pastor and first lady. And when she blesses, but guess what? You're blessed too. Amen. Amen. And you're, you're, you're blessed too. Sometimes when you hear about blessing, but everything is not about a dollar bill, even though that's involved too. Thank God, Amen. But but God is a good God, Amen. I said God is a good God, and and the Lord is going to bless, continue to bless because she's blessing the Lord, Amen. And that's a blessing right there. Well, he can't be God given, Amen, Amen, Amen. I always hear Minister Wise in our prayer, giving God thanks and blessing those that are attached to us. So when, when you attach to somebody doing the right thing, then you know you're going to be blessed, amen? And, and your children's children. That's the word of God, amen? Your children's children. I've been young now. Oh, yeah, I've neither. I've never seen the rights of a sick anointed. Save baby bread. Oh, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful work to the children. Don't you want your children to be blessed? I said, don't you want your offspring to be blessed? Well, let's do the right thing, amen. So you in the sanctuary, I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet at this time. Amen. I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet in wonderful ways the Lord blesses her. Amen. We're going to go by the Spirit of God. That's what we're going to do. Can I get a witness? Anybody come to praise him? Oh, all right. You all right. We'll see you at this time. We shall the hour. The of the morning, the man is telling the holy as you come at this time. Tell us, well, just save the Lord. Amen. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Come on. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! The Lord is good and He's worthy to be praised. And we tell Him, thank you for His goodness and His mercy unto us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to sing a quick little song, my anthem. Amen. That I love to sing. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord,
you're hearing Isaiah, the 40th chapter. Amen. And I'm just going to skip down. Y'all can read later. 28 to the end. But I'm going right to the word. The, yeah, no. Right to it. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. So I want to read it again. Amen. 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 I know I jumped all over the place, but I do give honor to God who is my life. Not just the head, but he is the, he encompasses my whole life. So he is my life. To my pastor, my first lady, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for them. For my co-laborer in Christ, minister wise, amen. Thank you, Jesus. And to the ecclesiastical body of Christ, I thank God for all of you being here today. But again, the scripture. But they that wait upon the Lord. Yeah. So don't go and ahead of him, well, but you wait. Yeah, wait. Right? So when we wait, we, we feel sometimes that's like, a, like I said, it's like a cuss word, right? Wait! wait. It's not going to happen right now. Well, wait, you can wait. say. Wait! wait. Amen. Sometimes things have to be delayed in our life, yeah. but it's for the good. It's not for the bad. It's not that we will have to um, go without forever, but sometimes we get it right then yeah. we're going to lose it right. we're not going to appreciate it right but they that wait, wait. those that are patient right. those that know that God is working for your good well, well. amen if you wait on wait, on. wait upon the Lord yeah. right they that wait upon the Lord shall it's going to happen that's what shall means that it will happen there's no doubt it's going to happen. This is what God says. If you wait on me, he shall renew. So that means that we had it at one time, right? So he's going to do it again. He's going to renew it. We renew our license, right? We renew um, a lot of things. I got to renew my chaplain's license, my driver's license, always renewing something. I have to go get my car checked out. I, renewing something, right? I gotta get the, um, what is that thing called? Well. Amen. <laughs> when they, you know, check your car and make sure it can still drive and they put the little symbol up on the window, that is good. Okay. Renew it! Amen. So, he will renew your strength if you wait. Right? Amen. You're going to mount up on wings as eagles. Yeah. Now, we always talk about the eagle, but have you really studied the eagle? The eagle is something. Their wing span it can be from anywhere from five, not inches, five feet yes. to about eight feet, nine feet. Yes. That is the wingspan. So we got to mount up on wings as eagles. Do you know about the eagle? The eagle is a strong bird. Unlike all these other little birds. Strong. And they soar. Not just fly, but they soar. And they soar through storms. They go through the storm. They fight against the storm and go above it, above the clouds, but through the storms. Amen, right? So God is going to give that ability to us if we wait. They shall run. Amen. So you'll be able to run. You'll be able to run past your problems, run past your disabilities, run past those things that are holding you down if you wait. Right? Amen. And you won't be weary. So when we're weary, we're tired. Sometimes we're suffering, going through something. That's how we get weary. We begin sometimes maybe to feel sorry for ourselves in the situations that we're in. 
And when we're going through, sometimes people will make us feel even sorrier for ourselves. But God says, if you wait, you won't be weary. Uh -huh. Right? And then you'll be able to walk. You'll be able to walk through these things. Run through these things if you wait and not faint. Amen. We don't have to faint through what we're going through if we wait. And that's the problem. We live in a world where we want instant gratification. We used to, I was thinking about this thing, right? When um, I was young, we didn't have microwaves. Not at all. So food was cooked fresh. And then if you wanted to heat it up, you had to get a little frying pan, maybe put a little water in the bottom, put the food in there and let it heat. And it didn't take a minute, two minutes, but guess what? It kept the flavor. Yeah. Have you tasted microwave heated food? It don't taste the same, it just don't taste good. Because we want things to happen quick, yeah. but there is a process to this thing. So when we wait on the Lord, right? Wait on the Lord. A process is taking place when we wait. We learn some things when we wait. If you're in a relationship and you move too quick, you didn't wait. If you would have waited another day, another month, Another year, you could have found out that that sister or that brother was crazy. But no, we want, oh, I want to be married. I want to be in a relationship. Oh, I want this. And then you in mess because yeah. you did not wait. wait. And that's the topic I didn't wait. tell y'all. Wait. Wait. <laughs> wait. Just wait. 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 Amen. Don't be so quick wait. to run. Don't be so quick. To, to solve it your own self, right? So we have an example in the Bible that um, they God promised them something. Well, told them that something was going to happen. Right? And it's like, yes! When he told them, alright, whoa! That's good, right? But, one year passed, promise didn't come through. Two years passed, promise didn't come through. On and on and on, 24 years, it didn't, nothing happened. It didn't happen to the 25th year. So could you imagine waiting for 25 years, right? But in between year one and year 25, and we do that too. I do. I don't know about y'all. I do it. I help God. Amen. You know, Lord, you said this is going to happen. All right, I got a plan, Jesus. We can make it happen together. But who knows that God does not need your help. Because when you put your hand in it, right, God puts his super on our natural. So that means that our natural needs help. So when we are in our natural trying to help God with the super, we just make a big old mess. And that's what happened. Y'all know who I'm talking about? Y'all don't know. Abraham and Sarah. They, what God promised them, you got to have a baby. Got a promise for you. It's coming. But after these years they go going by, nothing's happening. They came up with a plan. And we still dealing with the repercussions of that plan today. And this was years, years, years ago. We, you know, God told us to do one thing. We need to wait, a couple of things. Wait, praise him, right? Listen to him. Let him direct your path. He didn't say, help me. Bring those things that I have for you to pass. He can do that all by himself. All we have to do is? Wait. wait. Okay. All we have to do is? Wait. All right. Amen. Y'all got to help me preach. Wait. We have to wait. So they went on and made a mess. And they messed up this Hagar's life here. She went, slept with Abraham. and said, look, you'll, still, you'll be the daddy. And I'll keep the baby, Sarah, right? And Hagar will be able to um, raise him right there, feed him, breastfeed him, whatever. A mess. A mess. So we're in war, right? Because of that today. 
We have problems because of that today. You cannot help God. You need to wait. wait. That is all we have to do is wait on the Lord. And the Bible says, and be of good courage. Wait, I say on the Lord. Wait on him. Yeah. All you have to do is wait. And you be happy when you wait. But there's things that you have to do when you wait. If you're just waiting and doing nothing, that's when you start planning in your own mind, right? But there are things that we have to do as we are waiting. When we are waiting on the Lord, the first thing you need to do is to form a relationship with him. Get closer to him. How do we get closer to the Lord? We get closer to him in the Bible. That's his love story to us. That is the um, word for us, right? He tells us in his word that he loves us, that he cares for us. Right? That there is nothing that he won't do for us. He even sent his son to die for us. If we wait on the Lord, right? While you're waiting, get into your word. Read the Bible and find out what God is saying to you. That gives you the um, ability to wait a little longer. When you know that you have a God that loves you, that sent his only begotten son to die for you in your sins, to take um, your place when you should have been on the cross. Yeah. He died because I was a wreck undone yeah. before I was even thought about. Wow. Now that's a good God. Yeah. Knowing that I was going to come and sin. Knowing that I was going to come and turn my back on him at times. Knowing yeah. that I was going to come and not trust him. Knowing! <laughs> Hallelujah. All about me knowing my heart as we say God knows my heart he sure does he created it he knows what's in you he knows but he still loves us he still wants us to have the best he's still looking out for us he's still making ways for us he's still hallelujah doing his best for us the way we are Imagine to have a God that loves you so much. We should be able to wait. Right? So, first thing you're going to do, get into your word. Know what he's saying. And in when we're reading the word, we find ourselves. We find out who we are. We find out how we can change. We find out how we can become better. We find out a lot about ourselves. We always look at how we can change everybody else. But if you change, that's enough. Amen. You change. No one else. You change. Because it's the relationship that you have with the Lord that matters. Amen. And we get that when we wait. Can't rush, but we wait. Now, another thing that we um, need to do while we're waiting, and Pastor Always tells us this, is to praise God. Praise him for his goodness and his mercy unto us. Amen. Praise him through every battle that you have. Praise him in advance. Amen. Right? We want to wait until the thing happens. Praise him in advance. That'll push it up to the front. Praise him just because he's God. Praise him. Hallelujah. Woo. Praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. It'll lift you above your situations. Praise him. Hallelujah. It'll take you out of the muck and the mire. Praise him. Hallelujah. For he is a good, a good, a good, good God. Praise him. Hallelujah. If you would praise him, your situation will change. If you praise him, hallelujah, your eyes will be opened. Hallelujah. If you praise him. Hallelujah. Your life will never, ever be the same if you praise him. Hallelujah. And that's one thing that we have to do. We have to praise the Lord no matter what. Don't wait until there's sunshine outside. If you praise him, you'll have sunshine inside. In your heart, in your mind, right? Because we have to keep our mind. It says that if we keep our mind stayed on Jesus, right? That's, that's the important thing. 
We'll have peace. We'll have joy. When your mind is stayed on Jesus. And we keep our mind on Jesus when we read his word. And when we praise him. When we have relationship. And you know about relationships. You in a relationship, who are you thinking about? Your boo. Right? So that is the same way that you should be thinking about the Lord. Keep your mind on him. And he'll keep you in perfect peace. Thinking about Felicia, that ain't keeping you in peace. Right? Your boo, that ain't keeping you in peace. Your children, it ain't keeping you in peace. But if your mind is safe on Jesus, hallelujah, he'll keep you in perfect peace. And if you're in perfect peace, you'll be able to wait on the promises of God. And it says that his promises are yea and amen. Uh -huh. Yes, and it is so. Hallelujah. Those are his promises. And he promised to keep us. He promised to bless us. He promised to take care of us. He promised to make ways out of no way. He promised. Hallelujah. That he'll be with us. That we'll never be alone. Now, do we see him? But I can feel him. I know he's with me. Amen. So I'm never alone. Amen. But we need to wait. You have to wait. Many people have gone and they have married the wrong person because they do not want to wait. But let me tell you, at this time, this season, we need to wait. Yes, yes. Because the people that are walking around, wait, wait, wait. I'm telling you, wait. Yes. Look at, you know, look at yourself. I'm looking at me. I should have waited a lot of times. And I didn't wait. Didn't wait. So I had to deal with the repercussions of me not waiting, me not trusting that God is able to do what he said he would do. So now, at 55 and retired, I'm learning to wait yeah. on the Lord. Amen. I'm going to wait for him to do what he said he's going to do. So now, I want to um look at that eagle again. Amen. Why did Isaiah talk about the eagle? Why did he bring that up? If you mount up on the wings as eagles. Well, but let's look at the whole eagle. What's so special about the eagle? He could have said a hawk. He could have said a raven. He didn't say that. He said an eagle. So let's look at the eagle. The eagles have vision. Right? And God always tells us to, to write the vision and make it plain. Right? Well, eagles have vision vision. They saw way into the sky on tops of mountains and they're able to look down and see their prey. Yeah. But if we wait on the Lord, the Lord will give us eagle vision to be able to see through some of the stuff that we're going through. We'll be able to see the end. Hallelujah. If we wait on the Lord, he'll take away the cloudiness in our eyes. He'll take away those things like stick. I have a sty. So a sty in my eye, when I read too much without my glasses, I can't see well. Something happens. But if I wait on the Lord, my vision will be clear. I will be able to see what is going on. I'll be able to see where God wants me to go. I'll be able to see what God wants me to do. I'll be able to see, hallelujah, when the enemy is about to attack me, I'll be able to see those fake friends, hallelujah, that want to be on my side. I'll be able to see like the eagle. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Eagles are fearless. Fearless. When I was reading, they said, you know, they dwell in the mountains. And the eagle will fight anything that is going to come between them and their children. Anything that's going to attack them. They are fearless. And that's the way they said that they'll push a goat 
that's bigger than them off the mountain, not afraid to battle when they have to battle. And that's what we have to be. We have to be fearless. A lot of us are afraid to walk where God has told us to walk, afraid to preach if the Lord called you to be a preacher, to pray if he called you to pray. But we have to be fearless. In this time, we cannot play because the devil is out to get you. And if you are afraid of the devil, he will consume you. But we serve a mighty God and we don't have to be afraid of We have a mighty God that is with us, hallelujah, protecting us, hallelujah. He said they'll put a hedge around us, hallelujah, that nothing cannot happen. They said that the weapons will be formed, but they won't prosper. Amen. So who can tell the devil, shoot me with your best shot, because God has my back. He is protecting me. He is keeping me. I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. I'm not afraid anymore. Hallelujah. I used to be afraid. I won't say I wasn't. But pastor called me to preach. And they said the comparison is the thief of joy. And I would always be like, I don't preach like a night. Lord, I can't come up here and preach. They're not going to, you know, they're not getting with me, Lord. Oh, Lord, I'm so afraid. I can't do this, Jesus. Oh, no, Lord. I don't want to preach. Pastor, preach so good. Everybody preach better than me. But let me tell you, I'm not afraid no more because the word that God gives me, someone is going to receive it. Hallelujah. Someone will get it. Hallelujah. So now my thing is, if I can reach one Jesus. And here's another thing. 
Eagles don't eat dead meat. Not meat that has been rotten. Not like the buzzards. They are good and dead and they're going for it. But the eagle does not eat dead meat. So how does that relate to us? How does that relate to us? Stop pondering over dead situations. Yeah. If it's dead, walk away. We don't have to deal with it. Sometimes relationships are dead. Don't try to revive it. If it's dead, it's dead. Walk away. God does not always want us to be in these situations, in these um, relationships, in these problems. When they arise and they die, walk away. Yeah. Leave it. So long, bye-bye. We got to remember that. You got to go. When I came to the end of my, I knew when the pandemic hit, I was retiring. Because I've had enough. I've dealt with enough. That teaching was dead to me now. I didn't want to do it anymore. I did it. At that time, it was 31 years. And I was ready to leave. If they would have said, Jenna, you could leave. I would have been gone. But they never signed off on it. So I had to wait. And while I waited, I had to pray because I did not want to beat anybody. Not a kid, not an administrator, nobody. But I had to wait. And in waiting, I learned about myself. I'm impatient and I don't like to wait. But I had to wait. Yeah. And I had to be of good courage. I had to keep a smile on my face. I had to greet people that I know didn't like me. I had to do those things, hallelujah, so that God could have his way. Why, you know, for me to flip the wig, but you know, the saying, flip the wig and act crazy, and then what, do I look like a child of God? No, I look like the devil's my daddy. He's not my daddy. So I had to Wait. Yeah. And I waited until sept um, September 30th, 2022, and I got my release. Amen. All right. And the Lord has been good. Good, 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 good to me. 33 years. Yes. God has been good. And you just got to know when to walk away. My favorite song is, um, you got to know when to fault them, right? Know when to hold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. And that is even in the Lord. We cannot hold on to everything. Some things we have to let go so that God can have his way. And if you're holding on too tight to a dead situation, God cannot move in your life. Your hands have to be open for God to have his way in you. Yeah. Open, surrendered in him. That's what an open hand is. It is surrender. Lord, you know best. What You know what's best for me. So keep your hands open so God can have his way. Amen. And last, about the eagle. Eagles care for their young. They take care of them. And this was an interesting fact. So when they learn how to fly, they teach their babies to fly. They put the baby on their back. And then they swoop out from them to see if they could move and fly. If they don't, they come back under them and take them up, take them back up to the nest. And what they do then, if they're slow and they're not getting it, the um, mother will destroy the nest. Then there's nothing there, no safety net, nothing for the bird and they, the eagle, and they have to learn to fly. So I'm telling you, you have to learn to fly. Yeah. In your waiting, you have to learn to be patient, to be kind, to be loving, yeah. right? You have to learn while you wait to pray. You have to learn while you're waiting to trust the Lord. You have to learn, hallelujah, while you are waiting on the Lord to trust him the more. Trust him to take care of you. Trust him to move in your situation. Trust him. Hallelujah. And know that he loves you no matter what. Trust that you don't 
strength. Hallelujah. He'll help you to trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. He'll give you the strength to make it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You'll mount up with wings as eagles. You'll be able to get through all your situations, all your problems, all your downcast, all your hurt, all your anger. You'll be able to get through if you wait. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You'll be able to run and not be weary. And you'll be able to walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Get up, baby. Ready? Ready? Come on, put your hands together. Ready? 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 Come on, put your hands together. Yeah.
I didn't get my dance overnight. I didn't get salvation overnight. Ah, the joy that I have, it didn't come overnight, but I waited. I said I waited to ups and downs, to tribulation. All the things that you say, people lie on you, people talk about you, all that, trying to get you to quit. Uh, but, but, but I waited on the Lord. Ah, uh, my, 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 my. Come on, get the speaker your hand. Come on, put your hand again. That's why so many things is in a mess right now. Because somebody just wouldn't wait. Impatient. In a bad predicament. Trying to figure how you got there. Because you didn't wait it. Wait on the law. Be a good courage. Didn't you say that? He was strengthened. Ain't nothing wrong with waiting. I said, ain't nothing wrong with waiting. Something just worth waiting for. And to tell you the truth, something you're not even ready for. So it's best for you to wait. I said, you best for you remember that Tyler Perry movie? With Blair Underwood? Y'all know Blair, good looking man, right? Handsome from the head to the toe. But Blair was a monster. Yeah. The mama kept trying to not push the girl. Oh, yeah, he's the right. He's a good man. And then the mama, from the first night, he would beat me up to now to the on my way. Who need that? Yeah. Wait. 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 Just because they look good doesn't mean that they're good. <laughs> uh, but you better wait on the law. <laughs> folk, folk, folk laugh at me when I tell them. Listen, you, 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 you want someone tall, dark, and handsome, and, and, and roly poly been there all the time. Roly poly going to treat you nice. Roly poly going to do the right thing. But you want them tall, dark, and all the down, down, that ain't mean nothing. Yeah. But you got to wait. wait. Can I get a witness here? I'm, I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I waited. Mm -mm -mm. I'm glad, I'm glad I waited. God is a good God. So a lot of pretty faces, but it didn't mean nothing to me. Uh -huh, but I'm glad I waited. Amen. But a wife who understands what it means to be in the ministry. Yes. Amen. A wife that understands that sometimes late in the midnight hour, the telephone's gonna ring. And it's not my boo here, I only got one boo hoo. <laughs> No, 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 no. So you, 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 you gotta wait. You gotta, you, you gotta know that you know that you know that you know that you did the right thing. And that's not just in relationship. That, that's in everything. When you're connected with God, even, even, even in the preaching of the Bible, so wait on your ministry. For every Tom, Dick, and Harry, every Mary Jane, and Louise, and they, they, everybody wanna run, but you gotta wait. You gotta wait. I was a bishop for 31 years. It wasn't in my mind to go pastoring. But when God got his hands on them, you got to do what God told you to do. And even after I knew I was supposed to, I didn't want to leave. I've been there for 31 years. But you got to wait. Get the right teaching. Everybody want to run so quick. Hoop two times, all of a sudden, no, you better sit down and be still. Ask Jenna, ask Kanai, there's something that you're going to run into in this journey. Oh my God. And just because you are a preacher, they're going to be scrutinized, criticized, and all that kind of stuff. But you got to know that you know that you know. So when the critics come, when the haters come, you got to know that you never went on your own. I'm here because God called me. Even as a child of God, tell somebody, wait. Come on, wait. There's a lot of messed up lives right now because somebody didn't wait. I said there's a lot of messed up lives right now because somebody didn't wait. But if you give God a chance, he can turn it around. Yes. If you give God a chance, he can turn, He can make it better now. But even with that, you gotta trust him, you gotta wait. Yes. Amen. Everything you see, watch the door, y'all. Everything you see, you weren't meant to have. Everything you see, you weren't meant to have. Come on, somebody, give God a praise. Come on, give God a praise. Tell somebody, you got to wait on it. You got to wait on it. But in this 
microwave generation. Hey Amen. Nobody want to wait. I want it today and I want it now, but wait. Sometimes when you wait, you get the right thing. You get the right one. Israel wanted a king. God told them, you don't need a king. I'm your king. Yes. But they want what everybody else had. Yeah. What we want and what we need to different things. Oh, everybody else got quiet. Don't know what happened. <laughs> what we need and what we want, two different things. Oh, come on, bless the Lord over my soul. I, I, I'm going to wait. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. And he'll strengthen your heart. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, put your mind on the Lord. Put your mind on the Lord. You, 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 you're going up because you're waiting. The eagle, as our preacher describes, that's, that's not an ordinary bird. The fisher. You see, way down the road, you have to look beyond where you are right now and wait. Wait. Did I tell y'all? Let me approach you, Mr. Bishop. Said we want to get married. Did I tell y'all that story before? But yeah. well, let me tell you again. Bishop said, okay, wait. Well, guess what? Guess what we did, y'all? We waited. We waited. And he's been married a long time before we have. He, we waited. Amen. So sometimes somebody give you good advice. Wait. Folk, folk, you have that lie. Let me, let me buy the bishop married this lady. I had to do it, bishop. You, you, you should have waited. That's what you should have done. Uh-oh. Come on, somebody. Just give God a praise. Give God a praise. Why put yourself into something that you know you can't handle? Wait. Come on, say it again. Wait, wait. Listen, that, that, that's a message of somebody right now. They, 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 they know what you want to preach. Listen, only God will wait. You, you, you just got a message right now. Wait. Stop trying to make something happen that's not supposed to happen. Wait. Save yourself the heartache and the headache. Wait. wait. Amen. Yes. Folk get insulted when you mention used car. But listen, wait. My first car was a used car, and I use it too. <laughs> I use it every day to get where I need to go on back and forth. I ain't trying to impress nobody. Oh, look at Jim, look at Jim. Okay, what happened, Jim? Couldn't keep the payment up. You know, got to be possessed. Oh, wait. Come on, give God a praise. Wait, God, he's stretching out his hand right now. Now, the thing about coming to the Lord is there's, there's, there's no weak wait period for that. The day you hear my voice, heart not your heart. You can come now. I waited, I waited. Part of my wait, I, I was just waiting. I was running because I wasn't ready for what the Lord was offering. Stand to your feet, please. But this, 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 this is a lesson for somebody. You're about to do something right now that you shouldn't do. You are about to do something right now that you shouldn't do. Wait. 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 Crafty wait. A couple of months back, I preached. If I knew then what I know now. Man, I won't make the same decision for a whole lot of stuff. Something I just didn't wait. Should have waited. Could have waited. What was my hurry? And that's what's going on now. Take a little time. Parents tell the kids things they want to hear. Ain't nobody want to wait. Then when the mess get bad, when they come right back to mom and daddy, and you better pray, hope that you got a loving mother, a mother and father. Everybody gonna take you back. You know that, right? Everybody, everybody want to hear that. But wait. Are you willing to wait? Lift your hands. Are you Are you willing to wait? Are you willing to wait? She talked about Abraham and Sarah talking about David. He got anointed and went right back into the field. Yes. Taking care of the sheep. Yes. It wasn't time yet. Wait. Wait. What God's got for you is for you. Yes. Can't nobody you, you nobody can replace you. Nobody can replace you. God knows your destiny. God knows your destiny. 
You can't. You, 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 you gotta wait. Now, Lord, I don't know what I stepped into. I should have listened, but I didn't listen. But I need your help. I didn't let me rough get up, but God can make it better. Are, are, are you willing to trust God? Are you willing to trust God? Are you willing to let God make it better for you? Come on. You don't have to impress nobody. God understand your thoughts are far off. You know your limitations. Nobody know that about you. Nobody know that about you. Don't try to impress nobody. Because there ain't going to be nobody to bail you out. Wait. They that wait on the Lord. Now, who you waiting on? I said, who you waiting on? Not your next boyfriend, not your next girlfriend, no. but you're waiting on who? He's going to be the one to renew your strength. Uh, he's not going to leave you at a standstill, but he's going to take you high. You're going to mount up progress. Wait like an eagle. Only God can carry us. Only God. Amen, amen. You, you, you know what? I love young people. I love young preachers. But some of them, they should have waited. Some of them, they, they needed to wait. God, if God's in it, he's not going to put you in a situation you cannot handle. Amen. Amen. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I think, I think you need to write that down today. Wait. This is for somebody right now. You, 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 you think that's it. No way. You think this is it? You might not be where on virtual, you might not be where you want to be, but this, listen, just, just wait, give, give God a chance. That could be me. That could be you. Amen. Amen. When, when, when I was out searching for a building, for give me advice, I don't know why. Don't, don't go look for a big building, I'll look for whatever God gave me. I look for whatever God gave me. Don't go look for a big building like that. No, 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 whatever God gave me. I do. And I know the voice of God. Wait. For as many as I'm led by the Spirit of God, they're the, they're the sons of God, daughters of God. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on. Come on. Just, just, just give God praise. We, 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 we say it. We know the scripture. We repeat it. But are you willing to wait? Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Leave that to that own understanding. In all thy ways, that Lord, you know better than I know. That now he'll direct your path. Wait. Wait. Anybody, if you ever been talked about, raise your hand. If you ever been talked about, raise your hand. All right, put it down. You, you ever been lying on, raise your hand. Yeah. Put your hand down. You ever been misunderstood? Raise your hand. Put it back down. You ever come short? Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? You know, you, you, you know what you just did? You just put yourself in the company of Jesus. That's what you just did. They lied on him, they talked about him, accused him of things that he never did. You just you just identified yourself with Jesus. That's what you just did. And Jesus said, if they persecute me, I'm the sinner, son of God. You don't have to you and me, right? So, so, so sometimes, I'm going to tell you the truth. Sometimes, when I had the strength, you hear what I said, right? When I had the strength to respond in a positive way, I said, thank you for putting me in good company. So you, you, you know what I just said, right? I didn't always respond in a positive way. Amen. I didn't always act like Jesus. I'm still trying to be like Jesus. But you gotta wait. Lord, we thank you now. For the message of the messenger. And right now, I do. You're speaking to somebody right now. You, you, you're speaking to somebody, God. They know that you're talking to them. In the sanctuary. On the first room. Somebody's about to do something right now. They have no cause doing it. Somebody about to go in a situation, oh God, that they don't realize that they cannot handle it, oh God. And oh God, 
It's not like you're not speaking to them. You are. They may know it all about that. They're hard between two opinions. But touch that mind right now. Touch that heart right now. Somebody got to have it, oh God. They, they know it's wrong, but they, they, they're caught between fallen friends or doing the right thing, oh God. But if they'll only wait on you and trust you to make it better, oh God. You're able to do it right now. Somebody right now crying and crying because of a bad situation, oh God. They're wondering how they got there. They don't know, but you're the God that can bring them out, oh God. You're the God that can bring about the change. You're the God that can make it better. In the name of Jesus, if you only learn how to wait on you, you taught us in our patience to possess our soul, oh God. Have mercy. Save the unsaved, that one that's fallen for grace. Touch their hearts, touch their minds, bring them back. Restore to them the joy of that salvation. We thank you for the message and the messenger. Wait on you, oh God. Oh God. If we learn to wait, pain will be better. Have mercy. That's one of the easy fix or easy way out, oh God. Trust them that they wait on you. You never disappoint, oh God. We thank you now as we praise you. And put all things in your hand. Oh God. Somebody got to have it, oh God. Seem unbreakable. But if they only wait on you, hear your voice when you speak to the hearts. You ain't able to change. In this untoward generation, in the name of Jesus, we lift everything up to you. That mind, that mind, that mind, that mind, that sin that you're never gonna come back, oh God. Somebody down in depression, somebody right now, oh God, fear in their heart and their mind. But if they wait on you, you're able to change. You do all things well. We thank you now, oh God. We thank you now, oh God. We thank you now, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We know way is not easy. Oh God. Oh God. Teach us to wait. Wait sometimes come in the midst of our trials. But you're not there to punish us, but you make us better. Bless us now. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Forgive us our sins. Anything we have done to say, have mercy, Lord. We want to do the right thing, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Bless us, God. Lay your hands upon this land, the world, where there's so many things going on. But if we wait on you, you'll make the difference. We thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Put your hand again and give God a praise. Come on.